Hello everyone, how's it going? Happy holidays. Uh, today we're going to be working on a Christmassy game, a little endless runner that I came up with last year for Christmas, but have decided that I was actually going to make it this year. So this is, yeah, you might have seen this on the Facebook page. Um, let me show you a little bit of what we're making. Uh, what we're going to be making is a little more in depth than this, but this is kind of the basic rundown, the basic idea. So it is a little, it's just going to load here. There is some music, but I I think it's muted. Uh, if it's not, you may not be able to hear me too well. We'll find out. Audio takes so long to compile. Alrighty, here we go. So it's Little Endless Runner. You play as Santa, and you're not just running on roofs. You actually uh, you get points by throwing presents into chimneys. Uh, there's a bit of snow, so we're going to learn a few things here. Uh, snow's not done with particles, by the way. But we're going to learn a bit about getting this kind of rooftop and chimney kind of random effect going on. Uh, we're going to do a bit of platform movement. We're going to do a bit of collision checking, because of course we need to get the presents into the chimneys. And we're also going to maybe experiment with the... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, experiment... Blah, I can't... Why can't I say this word? We're going to play around with uh, some power-ups, I'm thinking, maybe some candy canes that Santa can collect to, I don't know, move faster, jump higher. We'll, we'll have to find out. We'll have to see what you guys are into. Um, because Christmas is just around the corner, it's about, at the time of recording this, it's 15 days away. Uh, with these videos have been coming out uh, quite often, uh, purely because it kinda, I kind of wanted to have it done before like the 20th, so that gives us 10 days. So I'm thinking this is going to take four or five parts, so that'll be like a video every day or two. Um, now I die. So you die and it says you fell, presents delivered, and then you can play again. So that's the basic rundown. Um, yeah, uh, I say we just jump right into it, and I hope you guys uh, will stick around and maybe learn a bit about how to create this little uh, Christmas game. Alrighty. So we're here, we're inside a brand new file, we're, well I say brand new, um, I have set up this kind of, it's a bit of a starter pack, um, it just comes with the Santa sprite that I did, and the rooftop sprite, um, purely because it took me quite a while, art's, art's not my main, my main thing, it's not a, a skill of mine that um, I hold strongly, it's not, it's, yeah, so these it took me of quite a long time to get these sprites done and the roof sprite didn't take too long but I had to find some images and stuff and edit it so the time it took me to do this I'm just I didn't really want to do it in a tutorial because a I don't think there's any way I could recreate this and B um, I just feel like it's it's a lot better for us if we um if we kind of just start off now that last sentence didn't end well um, <laughs> This, this is a really professional tutorial, is it not? Um, you guys can use your own sprites and stuff, that's perfectly fine, but if you need some placeholder sprites, or yeah, for some reason like what I've done here, then uh, you can go ahead, I'll have a link in the description below. It'll be a Mediafire, or Dropbox, or something, I'm unsure. But yeah, it'll be just uh, probably a .gmz, and you can then import that. If you don't know how to import that, I actually do have a video showing you how to do that. Anyways, so we do have this... Uh, all it comes with is a background which I made which is just a moon and some stars and a Santa running animation which that's way too fast that's still way too fast alright that's a bit better uh, Santa running animation a Santa jump uh, sprite which is just one frame and the rooftop so not too much um, but yeah so hopefully that'll help us get on the right path to uh, success Alrighty, so the first thing we want to do, of course, is create our Santa. So today, um, this tutorial is a bit of an introduction, and we're going to uh, create the Santa, get him jumping, and we'll create the basic roof. It's not going to be moving or anything, just enough for us to test out our Santa. And I think that's all we're going to do for today. We're going to set up the room and stuff, and then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but the following tutorial, we'll get into the moving roofs. And then we'll get into chimneys and all that fun stuff. So let's create a new object here by right clicking on object and hitting new object. And we're going to name this, uh, you can call this OBJ player, OBJ anything really. I'm just going to call mine OBJ Santa. Now if you are unaware, I add the OBJ in the front uh, purely because of organizational purposes. When you're programming and stuff, it's nice to be able to tell the difference between an object and a sprite 
and an object with sound and all that stuff. So we had the OBJ up there just for that purpose. We're going to set the sprite to SBR Santa, of course, and we're going to add a create event. Uh, so for the create event, uh, this is an animated sprite, so there are, mul there are multiple frames. And as soon as you attach an animated sprite to an object, GameMaker will automatically run that sprite at a speed of 1. And uh, that has nothing to do with this speed, even though here, you know, I can change this to 30 and stuff. Um, the game maker speed is set to 1 and that's that's quite fast so if you want it to be slower than 1 you actually have to go into uh, into the object and edit that with a line of code so we're gonna do that really quick we're gonna drag in some code from the control tab we're gonna open this up and we're going to type image underscore speed is equal to what should we pick here let's try 0 0.2 and see how that looks we may have to make that faster so that's why it's a bit slower than one and not as havocy. And I think that's all we're going to do for the create event for now. We will have to go in there a bit later and edit a few things. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go. We're going to add a step event and add some code. And we're going to start working on the movement. So I'm just going to add a code here. Add a code. Add a comment that says movement. And that just kind of lets me know uh, that anything below this is movement. If you don't know how to do a comment, you just have to do a double backslash and it will allow you to type whatever you like. So that's a pretty cool feature. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement uh, for a keyboard check. Now the cool thing about this is we don't have to worry about anything like moving left to right. It's just one key to jump. And I think we're going to use what should we use? Space or up? We can play around with the controls a bit later, but uh, today I'll just use uh, up to jump, because why not? And then we'll use space to throw presents, but that, we'll worry about the presents in a, in a couple tutorials. Anyways, uh, let's jump right in here. We're going to say if keyboard underscore check underscore pressed VK up, add some uh, squiggly brackets, then V speed minus equals 10. So let's talk about this for a second. All this line of code is checking. Is it saying, well, if we press the up arrow key, then send us upwards. So we're going to change our V speed to negative 10, and that's just going to send us up. Now, the problem with this is it's going to send us up, and then we're just going to keep going up and up and up and up and up. So to change that, we need to add gravity. So down here, I'm going to add another comment, and I'm just going to say gravity. And I'm going to say, if place underscore free, x, y, plus 1, add some squiggly brackets, gravity is equal to 0 0.5, else gravity is equal to 0. So what do we have here? Uh, the first line of code here is its uh, place underscore free function, and all this does is it checks to see if there is a object beneath us, if there's a solid object beneath us. And if there is a solid object, well then it's fine, nothing has to worry. But if there isn't, that means that we're in the air, so we need to fall down. So gravity is equal to 0 0.5, that moves us downwards. So there you go, we got some keyboard checks and we got some place checks, and this will allow us to jump and this will allow us to fall. Now one last thing we're going to add, we're going to, oh well actually first, let's create an object, and this is our going to be our object rooftop, and we're going to change the sprite to the SBR rooftop. Uh, I do have it set as rooftop 1. Uh, I was going to plan to do different types of rooftops, but uh, we'll see how the tutorials go. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to change this to a solid. And inside the Santa, we're going to add a collision with the OBJ rooftop. We're going to drag in some code. And we're just going to say move underscore contact solid direction, we'll say, is it 12? Yeah, we'll say 12. Uh, we may have to change that in a bit, uh, depending on how that how that looks. And uh, Vsu is equal to zero. So all this line of code is doing is it's basically allowing us to land properly on the ground on solid objects. Uh, it won't cause any glitches. Uh, like if you don't have that code there, yeah, don't just make sure make sure you have that code. Uh, one thing I do want to uh, say here is I do have a custom collision set for these sprites. So if you see the Santa, uh, his collisions are only this kind of bottom part here. And that is because I just found a glitch that when I didn't do the bottom part, 
it was causing a lot of problems. So instead of having the whole thing as a collision, just kind of this bottom box here, and that works perfect. Uh, sand and jump, I believe, yeah, same here, just the bottom. And the rooftop is an interesting one. It is just this tiny strip here. Just this tiny strip up top. Because once again, it was causing problems when the whole thing was a collision. Um, like when the whole thing was collidable. So we just have that one strip, and that makes it extremely, extremely uh, non-buggy. And makes it easier for us. So if you don't know how I did this, uh, all I did is I changed this to a rectangle. This also, first off, makes it a bit easier for the player. Because uh, that way, you know, they, they don't have to land exactly, they get a bit of leeway. Um, I, so bounding box, you just change this uh, from automatic is usually what it will be default at. You change that to manual, and then you can just drag, uh, click and drag uh, the collision box around. You can edit the values exactly here using these numbers. I am not, though, uh, purely because uh, I don't know if uh, undo works. <laughs> Let's, yeah, why not? You just click and drag, and... Yeah, nope, undo does not work. Okay. We're just going to set that back. Click and drag. You set where you want the collisions to be. And basically anything that's not this kind of bright white, it's kind of the darker grayish transparency, that is uh, collidable. So that is something that you will collide with. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit OK again. And now we have our basic uh, two objects. I'm saving this, because uh, you always want to save your projects. You never want to lose one. I'm going to right click on uh, rooms and I'm going to create a new room and let's first off let's place our rooftop down set this guy right here let's set our Santa up here you may want to make your Santa a bit smaller um, even smaller than that there we go nope not that there we go so I made my Santa a bit smaller just by dragging these uh, boxes in the corner and I'm going to go to backgrounds and I'm going to go all the way down here to where it kind of says no background it's just box and there's a little weird I don't even know what that is it's it, it's the indicated drop down menu and we're just gonna click on that and we're gonna select uh, background sky and now we've got this nice brilliant sky behind us so let's uh let's hit play and let's see how this works do 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 alrighty so we can jump yes and we can land that's perfect that's exactly what we need Wow, so you may, shall we speed him up a bit? We may speed him up. Uh, we'll see how it looks once we have the roofs uh, moving below him. Because uh, this may work fine, but it may look a bit weird. Now, here's a glitch. Look at this. What is this? Are we, are we playing Flappy Bird? What's going on here? Now, if you've watched my uh, Game Maker for Absolute Beginners series, you will know why this is being caused, and you might just know because uh, you're familiar with Game Maker. What we're doing here is we're saying that, well, if we've pressed up, then you're fine. You can you can jump up as much as you like. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're on the ground. Uh, well, <laughs> my brain stopped working there for a moment. We want to make sure we're on the ground so that when we jump, we can't do what we've done there and just jump constantly in the air. So we're going to go to OBJ Santa and go back to our step event. And we're going to keep this key pressed event, but on the end here, uh, right before the second to last, right after the second to last bracket, we're going to, do, I'm going to do shift 7, and this is going to add that kind of at sign, the er, and sign, and I'm going to add two of those, and that's that stands for and, if you don't like doing those, you can also type and, and this just adds a second uh, thing that we're going to check for, and place underscore meaning xy plus one obj rooftop so what have we done here so first we're going to check to see if we're pressing up and then we're going to check to see if there's a rooftop directly below us this plus one here is kind of one pixel directly below us on the uh, y-axis which is up and down uh, right here we do it again and that way it checks to see if the ground is below us and if it is below us and we are pressing up then we can jump so now if we go back here and we hit play, you will notice that we no longer have this error. We can jump once, but we can't jump again until we're on the ground. Well, that's just perfect. That's, wow, 15 minutes and look, look what we've done. I guess we had a bit of an introduction. 
Um, I think I'm going to, I like to keep these tutorials around 15 minutes at the max. So I think I'm going to end this here. Uh, next tutorial we're going to be getting into getting the moving roofs. And we're also going to have uh, Santa Claus uh, moving sideways as well. Because right now he's just in one position. And, you know, we, we don't really... Actually, no. What am I saying? Santa's not going to move. The roofs will move. Santa will stay the same. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a bit. Uh, if you have any tips or anything you'd like me to cover, please let me know. And uh, happy holidays, guys. I will uh, talk to you guys later.